black truck looks good. Who's that? Looking sexy, huh? That's my DD. That's my 100% stock daily driver other than the lowering kit and the wheels are not good. The wheels are not good. It is. It actually turned out really good. It looks good. I liked it. I've got to drive it, but I liked it. <laughs> One day we'll do something cool. One day we'll do something cool. Yeah. So here we are again. What is this weekend? We're going to six in a row? Uh, seven in a row? Outlaw Armageddon 7. Yeah, we're at, we're at Outlaw Armageddon 7, which is my home track, Thunder Valley, Noble, Oklahoma. And this is as packed as this place gets during the year. So, like, this is the biggest. I mean, hopefully I'm not uh, saying this wrong, but I'm pretty dang sure that this is the busiest this track gets during an event. The, people call it the Super Bowl, no bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, even though we've been on the road for MPK, I don't know, like I said, four or five in a row, six in a row, I don't know, it feels like forever, but we came out here to support our racetrack and to have some fun here at Armageddon. We've, we've been fortunate enough to win a couple of these, we've done pretty well, plus this is my home track, this is where we test at when we're, when we're trying to get ready for any races that are upcoming and I need to do some testing, I call up Nick and uh, Nick no, pretty much never ever tells me no. So we are here to support these guys in their race. One of the, you know, this is one of the first and the biggest no prep races for our world. So um, it is really cloudy over there. Hopefully this rain stays away from us. But it's pretty black out there. But I just want to come out here and see all the RVs. Like I always get intrigued from, because this place just isn't usually, this doesn't get busy or past this point. But every time now I'm again. RVs, RVs, RVs. And you know, with COVID and everything like that this year, uh, this won't be the most packed in there ever has been. I've seen it to where it's packed all the way, this whole place, you can't do nothing. So it's pretty cool that uh, this place still is like this with everything going on. Still lots of cars. I don't even, you know, Bobby was saying this the other day. A lot of these cars, I've never even seen them. I don't know where they're at. Like, you know, we're always looking for, looking for guys to race here and there and you don't ever see you know you, a lot of times it's hard to get races and and uh sometimes i've heard people put out an apb for big tire cars but man looks like they're all here today there's so many cars i haven't seen before yeah they just came out of nowhere yeah i haven't seen half of them but reminds me of mpk here's a little topo action right here Okay, so I think it's cool that they have all the classes. Yeah, they do. Like you see some cool daily drivers. Daily drivers, small cool tire, trucks, big tire. Like, look at that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I think this is our buddy TJ right here. TJ's rich. Look, he's, he got a Nova for his Nova. He got a better <laughs> Nova for his Nova. He just sent that trailer to my ranch. Sean Scout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the big rigs. Is that James Strain? I think it is. Looks like Kayla's car. Cool little, cool little setup. How 
all doing? Good, how are you? Good. I just said, ah, I'm gonna save it. And I just watched Sean go, 
He did do that. He did. Yeah. So he, yeah. He owes me a few though, so. <laughs> Cars, cars, do their, cars do their burnouts, one car shuts off. A couple minutes? Six, 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 Little twin turbo car, right? Twin turbo, big, small block. Um, yeah, so you know they've been they've they've been fighting that thing for the last couple of years, but he's kind of on the right, getting towards the right track. But got himself a uh, Mark Bicky converter, which I think he was having a lot of converter problems. And I heard they made a pretty decent pass. So I'm not gonna take him lightly. I can't, but I'm not gonna use my fastest tune-up I have because I don't want to risk in the tires. So I'm going to use the second tune-up that we used from last night's testing, uh, which was a little bit slower than the first one, and it's kind of my heat of the day, but still get down when it's hot. Right. Tune. Yeah, um, I mean, you only had that one pass. I, yeah, I had, well, after you left, we made another one. Oh. Nobody told you that? No. Yeah. It was like, end of the night, it was about 10.30, and me and Javier were sitting in the chair, and the cars were already put up, and we see these big tire cars going by. I'm like, Javi, what are, they, what are they doing? He's like, well, I don't know. I said, well, go find out. So he goes up there. He's like, hey, what are you doing? They're like, oh, we're grudge racing. So you can grudge race. You couldn't test, but you can grudge race. Okay. So right about then, here comes Chase on the golf cart, and he's headed towards the front. I said, Chase, what are you doing? He said, man, we're trying to get another pass in. I said, cool, I'm calling you out. 100 bucks. We'll get your car. So it was lightning everywhere. It was about, I mean, I'm, I'm, we got lucky. Yeah, I got hammered wherever yeah, I went. It was close, dude. Yeah. Like, so he went, got his car ready. I found Javi. Javi pulled it out from upstairs upstairs and then we hauled us to staging lanes and pulled in as the last pair of the night and got to blaze two heads down and the second pass was pretty good it was cool. it left hard but was it still went left like with so the big score. blower trying to put some power down when you put power on these things they tend to drive left and that's what this thing's doing now we've got some power behind it it's going pretty fast and it's going left so we've got we went in there put some steer in it to try to push the car back right I'm using, uh, like I said, a little bit slower of a tune-up for the first round. But there's 45 big tire cars. After the first round, there'll be 23 left. There's a lot of cars. So it's going to be six or seven rounds of racing if you can make it to the end. Um, if we don't get rained out. If we don't get rained out. Have you watched the weather? Yeah. Yeah, chance? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, I with my gray car, we've, we've been working on this enough with the gray car that I would be a little more confident in the position I'm in. But with this, this is only the fifth or sixth pass with the big blower. And, you know, I got a, like the first pass, we shanked it yesterday and the second one was pretty good. So if we did the steer okay and it improved with what we're doing, I'll know a whole lot more after this pass. If I can win this round and it's a good straight pass, I will feel pretty good about it. Right. Well, I got to thinking too, like, uh, you haven't taken this car down any other track since your shock test. No. None since shock testing. So Maple Grove, when we were at, when we pulled off the big tire win with that car, the next day we stayed over and we and we did some testing there with the new with the new Penske's on the back of it. Still got the Penske's on the back of it now, but haven't had it back out. So here we are now at our home track. Um, could be a little could be a little different. Could be a little different for sure. The tracks, I mean, the surface is different. Maple right. Grove we tested, we ran on it all night the night before, so it was pretty good. It's good. This is they're scraping this every night. So the, six, the 100 foot is scraped. It's got some bald spots. It could provide to be challenging. Good, I'm glad you like it.
most everybody's money staying in their pocket, it looks like. And that car does it every pack. What, a little last minute. A little last minute. Hey. What? I'll try to give you some AC. Oh, man. Hey, these cars don't smell really bad, but you Yeah. Hey, because it was going that way, wasn't it? Shit is that? I don't know. It's fixed. It's fixed. Maybe, maybe a little, a little. Shitty luck or the draw. Yeah, it just it's, it sucks that there's 20 something people left. Cause what was there? 48 yeah. cars? 23, 23 people left. 23 people left, and we drew each other. Second, second round. And, second, yeah. and literally, I've been watching a little bit. There's been some cars making passes, but I really thought Sean even way better than us is making better passes than we have. And I and me and Hobby just got done saying, if we could just stay away from Sean, we'll be okay. And bam, we draw it. Like cool. Yeah. So you so, guys screwed us. Apparently, we y'all wouldn't have said that. We must have. I think I screwed us because I'm the dude that's not. I haven't made a full pass for that. So yeah, but you're racing me. I tend to bring out the best in people. <laughs> like they can fucking shit show all weekend. <laughs> and, and Dominator's a prime example. Love the dude, uh, but yeah. every time he makes a pass against me, it's one for the record books. He does. He, every now and then he'll knock one out of the park. He does. And it's against me. Always yeah. against you? Yeah, always against me. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, this, ain't, this ain't the first time we race. That damn sure ain't gonna be the last. No, so. no. Hey, and like I said earlier, if I lose, at least I lost to Ryan. Everybody loses to Ryan. You know? So, that ain't even that big of a deal. It won't be the first time this month. <laughs> <laughs> he kicked my ass yesterday, though, so. But we do have stuff over here on the pit side. We've got the TDRP main concession stand behind 201. The TDRP quick stop drinks and snacks over there behind 202. That's where those yellow flags are hanging. Melt down snow cones guaranteed to cool you down just a little bit. And the drink car roaming around. Can't do it, Hendrix. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I 
So the guy that I drew was James Strang, and he is broken. He broke his car in the last pass, but he advanced, so he was in the winner's bucket, and I drew him. So the third round, we got James Strang. He's not going to, unless he's messing with me, which you never know, but he is not going to make the call. So I'm going to turn this thing up. Do a little cooking. And just see what, yeah, because, you know, this will give me a, essentially this is a test hit. And I, the way I look at it is if I'm lucky, I can, I got three more rounds to go and it'll let me try to figure out what this track will take right now. So my plan is I'm gonna mix my hottest tune. I'm gonna use most of my hottest tune, but just a little weaker on the starting line because I don't think the starting line's there. It's not there yet. Yeah, but the rest of the track is. So we're gonna try to spice it up. Kind of just take a swing at it and see what happens. Yes. Kelly James, red, really pretty red fourth gen Camaro. Looks like a pro charge deal. I don't, yeah, I don't know anything about it. Um, but he's made it this far, so he must be fast. So we're just going to kind of run our get down the racetrack tune up. Uh, hopefully, we'll get down the racetrack like he did the last time I used it. And hopefully, make it to the semifinals. Hopefully, I don't have to abort. So this, we're going into the quarters. We're going into the quarterfinals. Yeah, there's five cars left. This is gonna make it down to three cars. Damon Merchant got a buy run. Dwayne is racing. Um, Caleb. Kayla Morton. Don't ask me why I blanked out on that. Dwayne's racing Kayla. So those are two heavy hitters. They're gonna take each other. One of them are gonna take each other out. So who's gonna be left is the winner of Kayla and Dwayne, and the winner of me and that uh, other red Camaro, and then Damon. And this one. And then when we built the other one, I said, man, I don't care what we got to do. All right, I need a lot of lights. I, need lights. I don't really care what they cost because I know they can't cost that much. So <laughs> give me lots of lights, please. <laughs> and you just wire them. Yeah. And they did. They did a good job. Yeah. Ready? So what are we going to do? Are we going to point? We'll make, the, we'll make that follow up there. Do it on hook and push them up or just push them? On hook. Hey, tell them they got to run out with him. Hold him straight. You got to do that.
he still lifted way early and then just eased back into the throttle. Fuck, man. Why is it doing that? Hey, it's fucking fast, though, isn't it? Hey, what you got going on over here? Yeah, we got a broke spring. Broke, broke a spring? Yep. Okay. <laughs> 
Gilmore big check there. Yeah, buddy. I'll put that in the back of the Nissan. Why y'all drive that car? Okay, so in the finals we had Kayla Morton. Um, Kayla was making perfect straight clean passes all day long. Her car was on string. Her car's fast. It's loud, and you can't ever tell. It looked rocket fast, you know. So I was scared of that thing all day long. I'm glad that we got to meet at the finals. Um, I think we made we both made two pretty good passes. We just got her on. We just clipped her on the end. Uh, she got me out of the hole pretty good. Her car 60 foot's really good. Uh, makes me figure out that I need to get back to the drawing board on this as far as 60 foot goes. But that's okay. Um, but hey, we, we pulled it off. Another Armageddon. I think we could do it. That's two though. Back I think that's two. In, they're saying that's two in a row, and I forgot last year. But yeah, I guess back. that's two in a back to back. I'll take it. Yeah. So for us having so many problems, uh, Javi, you, uh, Wheeler. Dave helped me, um, Michael Bean. I mean, every, I'm sure I'm forgetting everybody, but like we all did this as a team. We had to thrash and fix valve springs on the car, stuff like that. So this is for everybody. Good job to everybody on my team. Well worth the weekend. Uh, what is this? Seven? Al Armageddon seven? Al Armageddon, yeah. Seven. Oh, A7 in the books, baby. We're going to go home and get some sleep for the week. 